Welcome, MHS basketball fans. It is February the 22nd, 2002. The final regular season, regular scheduled game of the season. The home game or away. Against Wichita Independent. Class 3A school. Independent school in Wichita. Against our home Lady Lions. Wichita Independent is 15 and 3. And our Lions, I believe, are just the opposite of 5 and 13. And they will be playing uh, next Tuesday night at Belleville at the uh, substate against the Belleville bus. And now, ladies and gentlemen, if you please rise, remove your caps if you have them, direct your attention to the East End of our gymnasium where our colors are hanging proudly in this continuing Olympic season. Our Minneapolis pet band under the direction of Mr. Dennis Ball will lead us in our national anthem. Mr. Ball. for the starting lineups. from Wichita are 15 and 3 on the season against 5 and 13 Lions. There's two teams play for the first time last year at Wichita. So this is the return game between the two schools. And again, Wichita Independent is a 3A school and classified as, as an independent in Wichita. It's a private uh, scholastic institution. It is not... Uh, church affiliated that I'm aware of like 
some of the schools. I think at their senior day last year, uh, they had some kids going, scholarships awarded going to Vassar and places like that. So it's a pretty uh, well off academically entitled school. Cornette for Independent against McDonald for the Lions. And Perry gets the ball for the Lions. And to cast it, Heather McDonald, 10 footer, it's out. She gets her rebound. Puts it to Prohaska. Trying to work it inside, but the zone defense for Independent is bottling that up. And out of bounds off Alderson. First turn over the night. Scores 0-0, 714 to go in the first quarter. Lions put on the press. Rupa, shot from the side, goes in, three-pointer. Rupa Pullum, 3-0, independent. Inside, Heather knocked out of bounds to independent. The like break the press down to Cornette. Over on the side to McConnell. Group of Poland takes another three-pointer. Boom. Six-nothing. I guess they better learn to get on her. Now leave her wide open. And put the cast Heather McDonald. She's died up. Out to Alderson to Perry. Alderson in front. Pretty good zone defense here being applied by the Panthers. Going to have to shoot over it, I think. McDonald takes a long two-pointer. It's out. Alderson with the rebound to Heather. A little five-footer is off. Rebound to the independent, Mossberg. <laughs> 41, uh, Carney drives the baseline, or drives the free throw lane. Loses the ball out of bounds. Jenna Fruits in the line to the game, the Lions. Somebody's gonna have to shoot over this zone. Perry, Fruits, she takes up, turns down a three-pointer. Alderson. Perry's going to take three. It's there. Six to three to score. Cornette working against Prohaska. Back to Cornette at the free throw line. Ball stolen by Perry. Two on three. Back to Prohaska. Fruits. She puts up five footer. It's short. Out of bounds off. Independent. The pass to Cassie McDonald is short, and Cassie fouls. Has to foul, try to get the ball. The foul is charged on 
First team foul of the half. First personal. Cornette wide open and a little layup. Eight to three. And the ball gets thrown away by the Lions. Turnover number two. Checking in for the Angels. Number five, four, sophomore, number 15, Alyssa George. Cornette, 10 footer, is there. 10 to three. Pass knocked out of bounds by Independent. Number four, Mossberg. Melissa George in the game, takes a 15-footer, it's off. Holum with a rebound for Independent. Prohaska well, almost with the steal, yep. Yep, she has the ball, tied up. Possession arrow to Independent. Substitution for the Lady Lions, McDonald for McDonald. Heather now on court. Nebraska seals the ball from Cornette. Out to George. Down to Fruits, input to Heather. She's on Cornette. Cornette blocks the ball. McConnell on the side into Mossberg. Her shot's off. George with the rebound. Perry on the side. She's fouled by number 41, Jackie Carty. Carney, excuse me. Pass to Heather. She puts up a five footer, rolls off. Pullum with the rebound for Independent. And uh, Heather McDonald tips the pass, picked off by Prohaska. Need to convert on the other, the other end of some of these miss. Miscues by Independent, but throw it away here. They lose it out of bounds and return. Perry into Prohaska. Cruz with a three pointer. Boom, it's out. Rebound to Polum of Independent. Carney brings the ball up court. We put past Cornette, five footers, it's off the side of the backboard. She gets the ball back. Polum outside for 15, it's off. Perhaps with the rebound. Out to Fruits. Prohaska's pass to McDonald's knocked away. George uh, puts it to Prohaska. She takes a 10-footer. It's out. Twice for her rebound, but it's out of bounds. Independent. Bird.
Bergman's in the game. Smalley puts up a layup. It's in, 12 to three to score, 45 seconds to go, first quarter. Spruce with the three-pointer, it's off. Heather McDonald gets the rebound. Over to Cassie, she takes a 15-footer from the side, it's out. Carney with the rebound for Southie, or Independent, excuse me. 14 seconds in the quarter. Bergman seals the ball to Fruits, it's five seconds. And put the Heather McDonald over her head. 1.3 seconds remaining. And this half should end 12 to 3 as the score. Which it does. Back to second half action in a minute. Second quarter begins with the Lady Lions inbounding the ball on the far side with the possession arrow. Five-footer is there. 14 to three. Cornette, six foot two. Pass to Prohaska is knocked out of bounds. Bergman about to lose the ball, but maintains possession. And Heather McDonald, she drives, puts up a five-footer. It's there. 14 to five. Cornette, free throw line shot is there. Boy, she's not missed anything tonight, I don't think. Maybe one. 16 to five. I'm much more impressed with her this year than I was last year. She didn't have a very good, very good game against us last year. Harry to Bergman. Prohaska drives on Cornette, back out to Bergman. Perry's over for three, turns it down. Fruits takes the 15 footer, it's off. Brass with the rebound, puts it up, no good. Carney with the rebound for Independent. Bergman breaks up a pass. Brings the ball down court. Over to Fruits, to Perry. 10 footer from the side, she's fouled by Polum. Group of Polum, 5'7". Sophomore, five seven sophomore hitting those three pointers out there. First team foul, first personal for Independent. Cornette with a rebound off the missed free throw for Independent. 16 to six to score. New player for Independent, long shot from the side, it's out. Off Independent on the rebound battle. Alderson's shot is blocked, she's fouled. Oh, 
balls. Alderson gets two free throws. First is off. So second. Rebound to Independent. Also now playing for the Lady Lions, Alderson. George almost picks off pass. Carney takes 10 footer. It's off. Has McDonald with the rebound. Perry pulls back to George. She takes a 15 footer. It's in. From the free throw line. Sixteen to eight, the score. Going at the mole, and she drives, lays it in. Eighteen to eight, four forty-two to go in the half. And the Brahaska, she's fouled by number four, Mossberg. Heather McDonald for the inbound pass. She takes a 10-footer. It's blocked by Cornette. Perhaps it comes up with a loose ball. And put past McDonald's picked off by Cornette. And same play, except this time we trip her. Timeout Lions trailing 18 to 8, 408 to go in the second quarter. So Cornette's at the line for Cornette. He was fouled. I thought the person that drove. Oh, no, no free throws. Hold on, the long two pointer is out. Cornette with the rebound, puts it back up, it's off. Heather McDonald with the rebound. Down to Cassie, out of bounds. Back at the lineup for the Lady Panthers, number 30, Ruma Put to McDonald, back over to George. <laughs> Perry, it's a three-pointer at the top of the key. Swish. 18 to 11. We need a few more of those. Cornette inside. She's trapped by the McDonald's. She puts it back out to Pullum. Carney. Back to Cornette. She's trapped. Mossberg shoots. She's out. McDonald the rebound. It's almost stolen by Carney of Independent. Perry's got the ball. Donald on the free throw line, out to Alderson. 10 footer, it's off. Rebound, Smalley of Independent. Smalley drives, it's good. And she's fouled. 
makes it 20 to 11. Dallas charge to number 40, Cassie McDonald for the Lady Lions. That's her second personal foul. Her basketball counts. And Samantha Smalley will step to the line. 21 to 11. Heather McDonald, five footer, it's out. Rebound, independent, Cassie McDonald fouls. Official score finally is right. Cornette to Carney. Three pointer is there. 24 to 11. Heather McDonald inside the free throw line. Back out to Perry, who's fruits. And put Cassie stolen. Carney gets the ball for independent. And a foul on fruits. The foul is on number 13, Jenna Fruits. 104 to go in the half. The Lions trailing by 13, 24 to 11. Keep out number five. Cornette inside, Heather takes a 10-footer, it's off, Prohaska with the rebound. Heather McDonald called for a foul. Fruits picks off pass to Cornette. Takes a five footers drop. The block, she gets the rebound, puts it back. 24 13, 16 seconds to go. Back to an 11 point lead. Last shot here for Independent of the half. Carney out to Cornette, free throw line shot. Swish. Six seconds, 13 to 26. Perry, three, two. Alderson takes two lane dribbles. 26-13, 13-point lead for Independent after one half of play. For second half action to begin with which on dependent inbounding the ball on the far side with the possession arrow leading by 13 points 26 to 13. Well, Alderson for 13 groups for 
inside Cornette. Ball's knocked away. Pullum gets it back. He travels. Perry out to Fruits. Bruce to Alderson. Back to Fruits here. And for Haska, Alderson on the side. Fruits up front. Zone defense hit for Independent. Worked real well for him in the first half. And put to Prohaska. She drives. Ball gets away from her. Out of bounds to Independent. Polo, three-pointer. It's the third one of the night. Leave her open. She'll kill you. Perry puts up a 10-footer. It's there. 29-15. Another three-pointer for Polo. 32-15. I'm out, Minneapolis. Put somebody in to cover that girl. <laughs> Melissa George in the game for the Lions. George into Heather, out to Perry, back to George, almost knocked out of bounds, she saves it, over to Fruits. But to come McDonald, she drives, puts up a 10-footer, it's in. 32-17. Carney, three Warner, hits short. Rebound to Heather McDonald, out to Fruits. Fruits to Perry, almost backcourt. George to Heather McDonald, knocked out of bounds by Mossberg. Oh, off the Lions. Cornette at the free throw line. Group Rome Holum at the side. To Carney into Cornette. Holum on the side. Not leaving her open now. There she's open. Another three pointer launches. It's off. McDonald, Cassie with the rebound. George drives out to Cassie, 10 footer, it's out. Cornette with the rebound for Independent. Carney drives, layup is there. 34 17, they've doubled the score. Fruits to Perry, three-pointers launched. It's out. Carney with the rebound for Independent. One on four. She pulls off to the side. 
Double dribble. Perry applied defense, almost stole it, caused a double dribble. Bergman comes in the game for Fruits. Perry's pass to McDonald's picked off. Three-pointer by the freshman is off. McDonald Cassie with the rebound. Carney strips the ball from George. One on two. She takes a long two-pointer. It's short. Out of bounds off independent. Perry input to Heather McDonald, takes a layup. It's there. 34-19, 2.45 to go in third quarter. Carney takes a three-pointer. It bounds in. 37-19. Perry into McDonald. Turnaround jumper is blocked by Cornette. Out of bounds off independent. Bergman, 10-footer, is short, but she's fouled. First foul of the half. Ball on either team, minute 50 to go in the third quarter. Packing it up for the night. Is that not working? Bergman makes the first free throw. Makes them both. 37-21. 16-point lead now. Alderson in the game for George. Confusion on substitution here by Wichita. Timeout. 30 seconds. So for uh, Trap works. Perry to Alderson. Her layup uh, is blocked. She's fouled.
Hollison sings them both. 37-23, down to 14 points now. Minute 35 to go in the third quarter. Press is on again for the Lions. Blocking foul on Alderson. She didn't get in there and get set. First team foul of the half for the Lions. First team foul. Prohaska knocks the ball away. The freshman takes a 15-footer. It bounds out. Heather McDonald with the rebound. Hurry down to George. George to McDonald. And back to George. He's over to McDonald. It's knocked away. She's fouled. Foul on the freshman, Emily Moland. Heather McDonald, 10 footers blocked by Cornett. Foul on Cornett. This will be a shooting foul. Third team foul on the Panthers. Yeah, the misses up, gets the second one. 37-24, 13-point lead now. Point at a time, the lead is whittling away here for Independent for the time being. He's on trap coming up. We get across the half-court line. Smalley drives the baseline. Back out front to Cornett. Poland is open, back. 15 foot shots off. George gets the rebound. Alderson, 10 footer. Oh, it's off. Smalley with the rebound for Independent. 25 seconds to go in the quarter. Fruits fouls on a steal attempt. Second team foul of the half. Carney drives into Cornette. It's there. A little layup. Six seconds. 39-24. Fruits long three-pointer. It's off. 15-point lead for the Panthers after three quarters of play. For the first time in the game, the Panthers didn't drastically outscore the Lions in the quarter. Uh, first quarter, they outscored us by nine. Second quarter, they outscored us by 13. No, by... Uh, Take that back. Nine in the first quarter, four in the second quarter, two here in the third quarter. Line the inbounds on the far side, begin second, fourth quarter. George drives on Carney. Carney ships the ball, fouls. Fruits input to Cassie McDonald's knocked out of bounds by number four, Mossberg. 
The sophomore, this is a pretty young team. Independence got Carney seals the ball and is fouled by McDonald. They have one senior on the team, and she's not seen any playing time. Only one junior has seen any playing time. All the sophomore and freshmen. Alderson seals the ball. Cassie McDonald, or Heather McDonald to Cassie. Cassie puts it in. 39-26, 13-point lead now. Mossberg to Cornette, 10-footer, it's in. 41-26. George, 10-footer, it's out. Cornette with rebound. McDonald strips it away from her. She throws it out of bounds. McDonald picks off a pass. Heather McDonald, turnaround jumper for 10, is off. Help to Cassie with the rebound, out of bounds. Off Cassie. Poland battle with her, and it was off Cassie. Substitution for Minneapolis, number 33, Jennifer Bergman. Side to Poland to Mossberg, shot blocked, but she's fouled by Alderson. Not Mossberg, Smalley. Another sophomore. This is second free throw, Heather with the rebound. 16 point lead now. Bergman, 10 footer, it's short. Cassie McDonald with the rebound. Into Heather and stalked away from her. Tie up, possession arrow to independent. Alderson knocks the ball away. Bergman gets it. And the Alderson, Cornette, blocks it out of bounds. Cornette knocks it up in the air. Bergman gets it before it goes out of bounds. And the pass to Perry. She's out of bounds with it. Down to Pullum. She's up for three, turned it down. Cornette, Pullum drives, pulls back into Cornette, 10 footer, it's there. McDonald to uh, Bergman and McDonald tie up, possession arrow to the Lions. I'm out of Minneapolis, trailing 44-26. Just a reminder, coming up between the girls and boys games tonight, we 
we will have the cheerleading performance by the NHS cheerleaders as a salute to our senior ball players. And then immediately following that, we will have the senior... Cassie McDonald inside shot is off. Cornette with the rebound. And their parents Loose over to Pullum. Carney drives. She's fouled by Bergman, I think. A shot attempt. Oh. Heather McDonald gets called for the foul. I like to hear a slap up here. First free throws out. Second one is two. Smalley with the rebound for Independent. Carney tires the drive, pulls back. Four thirty-five to go. Lions trailing by eighteen. Perry puts up a fifteen-footer. It's there. Carney drives, puts up a ten-footing runner. Perry with a rebound. Bergman, or to Perry, Alderson, 10-footer, is there. 44-30. Pull him. Long two-pointer is there. That girl is hot. 46-30. Bergman's pass almost thrown away. Alderson picks it up. Timeout, Lions. 321 to go in the game. Trailing by 16. Barry Alderson to George and so to Rahaska. Alderson drives, puts it back out to George. McDonald takes a fifth free throw line shot, it's out. And the free throw line, or a rebound to Alderson. George's shot bounds off the rim. Smalley gets the rebound for Independent, but travels. Cass McDonald is fouled by number three, I believe, of Independent. Nope, it's all on Carney. Sixteen foul on Independent. Two forty to go. Has McDonald. Allerson open underneath. Allerson turned around jumper. It's there. Forty-six thirty-two. Down to fourteen points. 2.20 to go. And the cornet, five footer is out. Alderson with the rebound. Two minutes to go. 
George takes a 10-footer. It's off. Cassie McDonald, rebound. She takes a dribble, puts it up. It's blocked by Cornette. The has her three rebound. She puts it up. Cornette blocks another, but fouls. Charge to Second free throws off, rebound. Uh, McDonald ties it up, possession arrow to Independent. 13 point lead, 46 33 for the Panthers. 153 to go in the contest. Throw line shot for Cornette. It's out. Poland with the rebound for Independent. And um, Smalley on her shot. She's fouled by Prohaska. Second one's out. Cass McDonald with the rebound over to Perry. Down to George. She takes the 10 footers, blocked by Cornett. Rebound to Mossberg. 122 to go, 47 33. And to Cornett, she takes a 10 footer, it's out. Alderson with the rebound. McDonald was open, but by the time they saw it, it's too late. Cornette steals the ball. Full timeout. 66 seconds to go. 14 point lead for Independent. George knocks the ball out of bound on Mossberg. 53 seconds. Mossberg, or Smalley drives to Poland. She puts up a five-footer. It's in. 47-33. point lead. 30 seconds to go. Put to Cash McDonald. Turn around five footer blocked by 33, the lone senior on the team. I think. Yep. Alyssa Rosenblum. Charge to number 33, Alyssa Rosenblum, her first personal foul. Two shot foul. Cassie McDonald will shoot the two.
Second free throws there for McDonald, 49-34. Carney with the ball. George picks it off. Ten-footer for Alyssa is there. 49-36, 15 seconds to go. Ball's picked off by Prohaska to Alderson. George is open. Alyssa George puts up a five-footer. It's out. But she's fouled. Two point nine seconds to go. <laughs> Alyssa gets the second one. Four nine thirty seven, twelve point lead, two point nine seconds. The game's over. 12-point win for the visiting Wichita Independent Panthers. 49-37. The game brought to you on MCTV Channel 37, Galaxy Cable Vision by the MHS linebackers. They have the senior recognition for the senior boys on the team here between games. Lines outscored the Panthers through 15 to 10 that quarter.
She's been a manager for the boys' basketball team all four years, lettering each of those years. Krista has plans to attend Kansas State University and major in special education.
special class seniors, folks. They all are every year. But got a real fine set of basketball players. We've enjoyed you guys. And gal. Look forward to a good game tonight against Independent and a good postseason. Back with the boys game.